Alrighty, what is going on everybody? Welcome to yet another Plato Game Street Plato Game Stream where we are going to be going over Mr. Fluffy Pony's account here. Um, in case you guys don't know who Fluffy Pony is, he is a new migrant that came over with the 2605 group. And you know, we did the Peacemaker account review last week. I might do this weekly. We, we got Fluffy Pony this week. So let me go ahead and introduce him to you guys here um let me just do this and unduff in all right what's up mr fluffy pony how are you doing <laughs> hey good and you i'm doing good i'm doing good thank you so much for coming onto the stream here um i guess we could start off with some introductory questions with rise of kingdoms and i guess my question is like when did you start playing and and how did you get started yeah so i've uh, been playing for a while for a couple of years um kind of funny how i started i was actually uh, chatting to somebody about this the other day i used to play this game and in fact i still sometimes do play this game called polytopia um which is like a turn-based um uh strategy game um it's pretty simplistic and it was kind of a happy space because um you know you know how it is like when you're bored you're sitting in the, the waiting room with the doctor <laughs> or you're using the bathroom in the morning um you need to occupy your mind and it can't always be TikTok. and so um i got like heavily obsessed with polytopia and the thing that it was really missing it has like a multiplayer thing where you can play with your friends um but you know i just i, I became pretty good at polytopia and then got kind of bored playing um with the few friends i knew that were um playing with it or playing on it mm -hmm. and so i was like okay cool let me go find something that's similar. And I actually kind of wanted something that was, you know, like city building, like uh, MMORPG, something like that. But I wanted it to be casual. I wanted to be able to play on my phone. And I found Rise of Kingdoms and turns out Rise of Kingdoms is not very casual, but at least I can play it on my phone. Uh, As I was to say, casual. But it's really, like, um, I, I will say, I don't yeah, know if it fits the category I, I, as casual. I, I <laughs> I did not find what I was looking for at all. But what I what I did find is find rather is a community that some of these other games would learn from that. Like that mm -hmm. the community is really what makes it. Yeah. Uh you, still okay. if it weren't for that. You cut off for a little bit there, but yeah, definitely the community. Oh. The community for sure is like a really big part of Rise of Kingdoms, and I always say, if Rise of Kingdoms was a single-player game, I don't think any of us would be playing it right now. So, <laughs> but yeah, zero I, chance. I guess we could go ahead and take a look at your account. We currently have him um, screen sharing again. Thank you so much for coming onto the stream here. Yeah. Um. And yeah, let's go over some of the basics here with an account review, starting with your current power in KP. I believe you could click your uh, account on top left. There you go. So. We got 564 million power. My goodness, the amount of power is, is crazy. And I think, you know, you dropped, you gained a lot of your power back from that last KVK against uh, 60 GT and uh, uh, 1093 in them. Yeah. How was that KVK for you? Like, <laughs> so that KVK was a total waste of time. And and we had a, we had a rough KVK before that as well. So basically, like I, I, you know, I, I got hit pretty hard in the last two KVKs. So I went from 800 million power down to now 560. Mm -hmm. So now I'm on the path to rebuilding. <laughs> rebuilding, uh, you're rebuilding, quote unquote, from 500 million power. Um, but yeah, I guess we could go you ahead. Know, I, we joke, we joke, <laughs> we joke, but I ran out of calves on the last, uh, on the last KVK. I need uh, calves. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's always this, what's the one troop type that you always have too much of for you? Is it like? Infantry? Archers? Uh, archers. Archers. Yeah. Yeah. Too, too many archers. Wait, it's better troops. Too many too many archers and uh and just like not enough um not enough calves. Not enough calves, feel you, I feel you. But you have thirteen point nine million cavalry right now, fourteen point two million infantry and seventeen seventeen point two million uh archers with 4.2 million siege so <laughs> if you ever want to go into I, uh you know range commanders in there you know you, you have the option to um yeah but yeah so i guess we could go ahead and look into the more info page just for people that aren't familiar with yeah. you and, and your account here um and 
to kind of take a look at the deads 30 334 million deads is is kind of crazy on an account um a lot of defeats 217.5 k defeats a lot of resources assistance 250 billion resource assistance um and then if you could click the question mark next to your kp just to kind of see the kp breakdown here um yeah majority of actually yeah you have a really really good ratio majority of your kills being t5 um so a lot of killing and a lot of stats on this account for sure um so big, like big fat uh, big fat zero on range points you know as you can see i'm <laughs> not really interested not really that interested in range points but who knows i, I feel like cordoba might be a, a good commander to invest in eventually but it's just way too much to invest in it right now v formation and and the siege gear and all yeah. that kind of stuff so um yeah i guess we could go ahead and take a look at the resources um you newly migrated here so you know you're at a solid yeah, one point migrated 1.7 billion 1.9 billion 1.7 billion food 1.9 billion wood 1.8 billion stone and 2.6 billion gold i mean for someone that just migrated you essentially have what my resources are and on my main account so not doing too bad there it was 391k gems uh yeah like well ha well I, I see you do buy a lot of bundles like what, what are your favorite bundles to buy like what, what are your uh kind of spending yeah. habits i guess yeah i mean obviously right now we're doing alliance mobilization so um spending is kind of kind of high just to just to try and get those 240 um point uh yeah things like yeah. on the on the bundle side you know there's the obvious like the lady special offer is great mm -hmm. um I, I tend to focus on Royal Armaments, Echoes of History, just because currently I'm a little bit OCD about like not um, having <laughs> maxed everything you in want, the museum. You, you just want the museum to be done, just you know, everything maxed. I feel like, okay. Done. Right. <laughs> uh, and then I, I do Geared Up. Geared Up is my, is my go-to. Um, and then War Machine, um, I tend to do War Machine at least up to like the middle of the bundle. I don't always do the three golden chests um just because it does become extremely pricey um yeah, yeah. and uh you know like sometimes like i i'm at a point where I, I don't need to touch um living legend or legendary warriors i'll i'll show you why um i have 22 uh of these reward choice chests that oh i just can't use fully expertise everything so, so I, yeah <laughs> yeah so i don't really you know i i basically just these uh the vip keys in the vip store or the, these keys sorry mm -hmm. every time it resets um and then you know the same goes for like like if i really need to i have enough gold heads that i can yeah i've got like nearly three thousand gold heads so i can max out a commander if an important commander pitches up um and that does give me a lot of flexibility and i will say on this account, my spending habits are much better than on um, my secondary, um, where I find I'm still going like, oh, I need more gold heads. Like, okay, let me go and you know grab that bundle mm -hmm. as often or now and then. Yeah. So I I might, you know, I, I think from my perspective, like this is it's like a good position to be in. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we'll go over your commanders and all that kind of stuff later because I think it's going to be pretty crazy the the amount of commanders you have but let's go over the the items real quick for for resources sure um starting off with the resources just for everyone to see um a lot of vi oh my goodness how much that's like what 78 million vip points just from yeah, <laughs> the, the 100s babe Basically, the next the next VIP level they they release. I'm I won't be the only one, but we'll be able to just. I I, th into I think you're set for the next ten VIP levels with the amount of VIP you got going on over there. We got the gemmies as well. Um, we could scroll down to the other resources. We got some food. We got some wood. Um, so I mean, like even though you're, I mean, I'm sure you'll be set for KVK, but you, you still have some stuff in the bag for resources as well. Yeah. Um, we could go ahead and go to the speed ups. I think this is going to be pretty interesting for most people to see. Um, 
yeah, like we got a, a pretty decent amount of training speeds. Uh, and then we could just go ahead and scroll down here. Let's see. You still have some some healing speeds and then the universals uh, actually looking pretty human. You, you're <laughs> yeah. The last I, the last I, couple um, of KBKs went, are probably tough, right? Yeah, th they were tough, and I went I went pretty hard for um, uh, for Zenith, not because I care about the um, the the uh, skin that much, but really I just want to build my power back up. So uh, okay, yeah, I see. Zenith Zenith nailed my <laughs> nailed me pretty hard. <laughs> I mean, honestly, after a Zenith push and these speed ups is still super solid. We could go ahead and go to the boosts. Um, just to see what what's going on in there. Um, okay, there you go. I'm um, like usually whales got the like you know the 50% expansions are usually something that uh, I don't have in spades. But for you, you have almost you all have almost 15k. I mean 1500 50% expansions. Um, 718 24 24 uh, hour defense tokens or 10% defense. 1000 um 10 percent attacks so i think you're pretty good for uh the next i yeah. feel like you could go to like full on 50 percent expansions for the rest of uh the year and you'll be okay um easily <laughs> uh let's go ahead and take a look at the other page we'll, we'll look at the equipment as we go to um after we go through the commanders here and you seem to be a big proponent of the flux. Like, how do you feel about flux in, in the Rise of Kingdoms? Did it make it like easier for you or? So much easier. There is nothing worse than having to do like, you know, 10 or 15 purchases in a row and you're sitting there on Apple Pay going <laughs> to click, 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 click. Yeah, I, I always think of Apple Pay and just staring at your phone, looking into your soul as like the screen of death over here. <laughs> but uh absolutely so yeah i'm i'm kind of grateful for it i'm also happy that they're doing this flux coins thing now because you know you can see like i have a bunch of like just random things like mm -hmm. that that's a lot just sitting there that i'm never going to use so the fact yeah. that that there'll be some conversion path is important yeah uh let me go i don't think i could yeah it's okay um okay so we could go and scroll down we could see the ap um you definitely use up a lot of your ap we're we're, we're working on it this off season with uh doing forts and all that kind of stuff um and then we saw the gold heads at around 2.7k gold heads for you there um a lot of xp and uh, a lot of random events. I don't even know what those are, honestly. <laughs> what are yeah, those? Yeah, so it's it's kind of crazy, like weird stuff, like um, leftover balloons. I think do I have flour? Uh, no, okay, I I think the flour is gone. But like I had flour like sitting around for ages, and eventually mm -hmm. I was like, you know what, this is just irritating me, and I converted it to food. Um, <laughs> there you go. But yeah, lot, lots of like really weird old things. What are those tickets? Uh, those like uh, I'm not sure. These what they are, are when a when a purchase fails, you get given a voucher. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never, never seen that before. So first first time for everything. And then gold heads, 2.7K. So a solid amount of gold heads. Um, let me read the chat yeah. here. Black Panther said, bro, I'm hyped for pony and peace combo in KVK. Yeah, we had um, Peacemaker on last week and we, we did an account review for nice. him. So it's going to be pretty crazy. Uh, the KP competition be the, between the two of you. Um, peacemaker being you know for sure i i consider him a quote-unquote native even if you migrated to if you're in a kd for kvk1 you're pretty much a native um he migrated before kvk1 Agreed. um so yeah we're it's it'll be interesting to see this upcoming kvk and, and how we perform um okay so let's go ahead and the good thing i have a list here of things to to go through uh yeah i guess we could go through the commander pairings um go to the commanders and pairings before we first. go to the pairings i guess we could like yeah let's i guess we could start with the pairings first um so here we go um oh we these are not like my regular or some of them are but like it's not my normal pairings mm -hmm. uh, we were fiddling around with things um you know i I've leaned in quite heavily to um, 
to to sort of uh, some of the um the the newer stuff so i'm really thoroughly um enjoying um the new smite com- uh, smite damage oh I think new there's chat. a lot of cool stuff there yeah uh, new chat Gorgo. Yeah, so, you know yeah luce gorgo loving that combo um you know i i'm a i'm a traditionalist i'm still gonna do like a lot of stuff that is that that still works mm-hmm. um so you know like nevsky joan like yeah nevsky joan still slaps like there's no no way around it um i i have started you know like my my seventh march my trajan march was always kind of a uh i don't know just something i didn't really care that much about and i've mm-hmm. really started um like using trajan ethel as uh, a, a buffing um seventh march um you know and then like the the usual stuff you know like i like obviously uh, uh like uh Juge is like phenomenal aoe mm-hmm. um great in the field you know i just have to keep reminding myself not to swarm <laughs> um uh who owes like you know also like just uh he really nails the secondary uh the, the second um cav march for me like really really great um i do some sometimes i pull out some weird things um i i really love um takeda as secondary i know it's kind of dated it doesn't always um uh, hit as hard in KD um, but like DP great secondary um in certain circumstances um you know have not pulled out xy in a minute because he is such a, a glass cannon he mm-hmm. gets obliterated especially when you're in kvks with like strong opponents and i just i can't touch him anymore um I'm loving how Boudicca is still relevant. Like that's that's like great for me. Um, and then I've tried to focus really heavily on Garrison's uh, more recently. So and we can talk about armaments um, mm-hmm. in a moment, but really getting my hollow square armaments up. Um, you know my uh, my Hera is extremely strong um, uh, in Garrison. And uh, you know I think my Dido is a, a, a close second. Uh, Ziska is also pretty strong. Um, so, you know, really just trying to get like um, that because I mean, rallies are easy. I, I can like no problem crushing rallies. But yeah, like Garrison's uh, for a long time, I didn't pay attention to Hollow Square armaments. I just wasn't interested. And yeah. uh, I've tried to like really correct that. Yeah. I mean, armaments are, are kind of interesting because. For the normal spender, for you know the FTP low, medium, even high spenders, um, you kind of suggest, oh, just go wedge formation, just go wedge formation. But I guess as like a garrison or rally lead, and especially as as a big whale, you know, you kind of have that, like, oh, that decision of like, oh, should I go arch? Should I go um, hollow square? So with your armaments now, like, what what are you opening? What, when you get your armaments, is it been hollow square for you? Has it been that that arch formation yeah. or? Mm. Well, I'll, I'll show you, like, I mean, a great way to look at it is the State Forum. Um, so this is, these are my preferences right now. Mm. Um, I still have Wedge as uh, as a preferred formation. Um, I'm, you know, I've popped some Circle and Testudo when they came out. I'm not that interested in them. I think if we see commanders with, like, massive shields and healing coming up, great. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not running for it, you know? Yeah, they're, um, they're definitely not the biggest meta right now with those new yeah. formations, which no. I, honestly is okay to me because if there's like a brand new formation that was broken and then it kind of makes all the other formations irrelevant, then that, that would have been kind of disappointing. Yeah. But uh, no, 100%. Yeah. And there then I, I mean, I've got like 500, I, I've, I've got 594 armaments. I trim them down real hard. I have almost no epics um, and the epics that I do have uh, the, you know, obviously these ones that are unlocked are going to get recycled. The ones that are, are locked are few and far between of life, but nothing really to write home about. So I really try and focus on legendaries. The um, the the rare inscriptions I've, I'm still getting used to. They're very new. Um, this is about the, you know, the only rare inscription that I'm where she had a, a much worse armament and I swapped it out and I need to transmute it. 
Mm -hmm. um but you know there's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff with these rare inscriptions i'm really excited about them um and uh i, I just like i do find armaments quite time consuming like yeah. i tend to yeah it is run things out for a while and then i'm like i'm like cool i'm gonna take the next two hours like it's been a few weeks i'm gonna take the next two hours i'm just gonna hammer this and i'm gonna like work through everything mm -hmm. um and then i'll still miss you know obvious upgrades to um to um to existing armaments so it's it's super super time consuming yeah for sure i think that's one of the biggest things about armaments is like it's so much time for like a micro upgrade where it's like oh 0 0.2 stats 0 0.3 yeah. stats um but yeah, yeah it's 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 part of the game now i guess we could go ahead and look at the equipment page um if you sure. so, while we're yeah. there um taking a look at that so you still pretty heavily invest into equipment with the daily geared up um yeah what's been your take on equipment and like how have you been working on your sets and yeah. i guess going through how many sets you have my goodness the amount of special talents right now in my face is uh quite overwhelming but uh um yeah i you know the the like i've made missteps with equipment um mm -hmm. i think everyone does you know you you do something and then you're like oh that's not gonna work and you end up with like this dragon's bow i dragon's wraith bow i'm probably never gonna use because you know my my focus is to get the hydra's blast up to l50 and that's gonna take a while mm -hmm. um and so that's kind of um you know that uh, it's it's a little, what i find very frustrating is i can recycle this Mm -hmm. but i'm not going to get enough value back from recycling it yeah and so i'd rather just let it ride and maybe one day in future i'm like hey I've, i want to have a dedicated set for i don't know archer garrisons or something um and uh and then i'm uh and then i'm going to focus on that so it's kind of it's kind of one of those things where i really wish that they would give us the ability to recycle and get blueprints back um get uh iconic crystals back um i don't mind losing the mats i think half is a little heavy but it's cool um i i just find it immensely frustrating especially with the tiered equipment now that recycling doesn't give you the blueprint back because i could really use the blueprints um you know to upgrade stuff yeah that's actually something that i, I never thought of because I've never dismantled before, <laughs> with, but with the amount of uh, gear you have and, and all that kind of stuff, especially with the new iconic system and how important, uh, how important blueprints are nowadays, right? Like I could definitely see where, yeah, at least get the blueprint back um, for your dismantles. Exactly. I don't know. Yeah, maybe maybe that could be something in the future because, uh, yeah, 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 you definitely want to get those iconics up if possible. Um, so yeah like and these 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 six over here are obviously the big boys these yeah. are the are the kvk l50 stuff um like to the the upgrade path to like get to a point where um all six of these are crit and um level five is crazy it's gonna be like another 20 <laughs> kvks unless they unless they really and look well, they have said that they're gonna increase yeah. um availability in that so I was about it's to say, I think our, I think our next KVK will be able to buy two of each blueprint. Um, yeah. So at least it'll double. But at the same time, it's probably still if you want something to, for example, this iconic uh, level one right now, you'd have to play two full KVKs just to get the four blueprints to get it to iconic level five. So and that's just one um, piece of gear. Like, I'm, I'm sure you won't have enough coins yeah. to buy out like I don't know like all 12 blueprints per kvk right because there's six pieces yeah. so well, it's exactly be, it's it, and it and if you if you think if you think about it like it doesn't matter how kraken you are um or how much of a whale you are you are still bound by time mm -hmm. and availability of the stuff so yeah you know as much as i would love to have like two full sacred dominions two full um pride of cons i know that getting there is going to take me another 18 to 24 months yeah well hopefully we could win some kvks for you so that uh you don't we get, we get more coins um 
we'll see what happens in, in this nat next matchmaking. Um, yeah. But yeah, I guess it, it, you have so much equipment, like it's hard to, to de decipher what's going on. I know. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's easier to see it on the commander, yeah. the commander page. Um, you know, I think on this screen, the only thing I'll really highlight is they are wasted pieces. Yeah. Um, and, and they're these little like dangling pieces that like this hope cloak and so on. It, it is um, an older account uh, though. Like eternal life. So before there wasn't yeah. a leadership set, it used to be the meta. Yeah. Um, but yeah, now, now exactly. we have a lot of the, the leadership crit stuff that are yeah. unused. Um, right. but yeah, I, I guess we could talk about the, the commander page. The I guess we could, you know, look at the equipment sure. in, in that, uh, that respect. Um, so there you go. The Hwaki Bing with the main. I'm guessing this is a main cav set. A, what you got? This uh, is a main cav set, yeah. A fully crit, iconic level five for the chest, um, the gloves, the legs, and the boots. Iconic level two for the um, ring and the horn. So I'm guessing you're you're a cav main from the way that the iconics here are. Uh, I, I guess um, distributed because you know you only get one ring and one horn blueprint so investing yeah those into iconics means that you know you're like you're, you're investing into the cav, cav iconics i guess in that way you you you'd think that but as as you know you'll see you'll see as we go through the <laughs> okay rest. okay all right let, let's see let's see the rest of the cal let's see the next set here with the zhuge liang um zhuge liang okay oh my goodness okay <laughs> um you have Iconic level 5 helmet, chest, gloves, legs, as well as boots. Um, everything crit, of course, um, why not? <laughs> With even the, the Hydra's Blast uh, KVK, um, KVK weapon there, crit as well. Um, with the horn and... Th I think that's a skill damage pendant, if I remember correctly. But I think... Yeah. Yeah, it's again like a little bit of a little bit of a misstep um, focusing on Eternal Night, but it is what it is. I've got it now. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I'll probably just bring it up to level five mm -hmm. and stick with it for now. It 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 hits hard enough. Yeah, I mean, people use uh, people use. Uh, I forgot what skin it. It's called. Twilight Falls for the five percent skill damage. So I'm sure, like you know, like it'll scale up, especially with Zhuge Liang, uh, the skill damage king himself. Yeah. Um, by the way, could we go back to the cav? I forgot to go through the the armaments for that. Just to, um, oh like, yeah, for each commander, we could just go through the the equipment and then the armaments here. Um, okay, yeah, <laughs> okay, this is a uh, pretty crazy armaments, a full cav, so it's it looks nice and clean. Um, we got unstoppable, and I, this is a legendary inscription that you got. Like randomly from the chests, right? You, you hit that. Yeah. Zero. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, unstoppable was yes. Unstoppable was from a chest. Yeah. So gains five percent boost to skill damage dealt when dealing direct damage to a target. Thirty percent chance for the damage will be increased by ten. So a lot of skill damage dealt there. Got hurried. Uh, we could just go through these real quick. Um. Yeah, I, spiked I think is three point five percent attack, and then shielded I think yeah. is three point five percent defense. So there you go, a, a lot of stats on on these cav uh, on these cav armaments for sure. Um, and then we can go uh, ahead and look at the Zhuge Liang. Yep. Um, they, yeah, these are these are like, I, I'm I, whenever I see like whale armaments, I'm so jealous with like the clean stats. Like I, I have like barb damage here, <laughs> I have like gathering speed there, um, but these stats are super clean. They got guarded, evasive, warflames, elite. I think guarded is uh, <clears throat> and well clad. I think is uh, um, well clad three point five percent defense. defense. Yeah, okay. So solid amount of stats here and then as well. Warflames and elite are already just focused on extra damage. Extra damage, yeah, and then okay. Guarded like more tankiness as well. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, all right. The Guan Yu with. Uh, uh, actually, sorry. Let's, let's do the Skippy first. Oh, there you go. Um, this is the main um, infantry set. So, honestly, with the gear that yeah, you have, so this is, <laughs> I don't think you're a main of any. This you're is main of normally, all types. 
I know. <laughs> this is normally on 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 uh, Luche. That's why it's got the uh, uh, oh. which I. I love how you just casually iconic iconic get to level five on stream. If that was me, I'd be like hyping it up for like a minute. <laughs> it's like, all right, let me just wait. I, I, I let me just I, iconic level this up real quick. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I guess greatest, um, greatest greatest glory greatest mm -hmm. glory plays into smite damage really well. Yeah, yeah. Um, the normal attack, um, the normal damage increased by five percent. Essentially, with smite damage means all damage because you know the the skills and all that kind of stuff scale. Yeah. So for sure, a really good um, accessory to have there. As you see, War Daddy Chad see with the five gifted GGs in the chat for War Daddy Chad, and uh, because Goose donated me hashtag free Goose, I don't know what happened in the <laughs> KD Discord, but I'm sure it's all love with Panther. Um, Ao Fluffy said War Daddy Chad. <laughs> Um, appreciate the five gifts of brother. Really, really appreciate it. It was a pleasure talking to you on Discord. Um, I think it was a couple days. I mean, it was like two days ago. Um, as we go back to the counts, Stonks. the helmet's iconic level one, um, but the chest, gloves, legs, and boots, and now the accessory at iconic level five, newly accessorized iconic level five here Stonks. with um, the, everything crits except for the helmet. Um, which is uh, potentially on the way um, as you actually have another crit ring like how many Stonks. refines and, and stuff like would, would that take because most people only have one crit ring but you, you, you seem to have two? Three? yeah yeah so uh, three crit rings there you go three crit rings is crazy my goodness um and then we could look at the the inventory armaments with this uh, the CPO here. Oh yeah. Um, so again, you know, smite, smite damage focused. Still a bit of work to go. Yeah, there you go. So uh, th this is what this is kind of what my armaments look like for all of my marches. So um, even while I was working on them, so we got invincible. I wonder what is invincible as a, a legendary inscription. Oh yeah, I've seen. Um. Skill damage resistance by 5% and their troops deal 3% more normal damage up to 12% to target troops for every 20% of units the target's lost. Oh, okay. So it like the lower yeah. the target, the more skill, the more normal damage it does. And then exactly. of course, as a arch formation and you have this on your Liu Chen, your Gorgo, the amount of that normal damage is going to yeah. stack up and ramp up. Um, Totally. It ratchets like mm -hmm. as they as they're losing troops, it just ratchets so hard and like the last few seconds are brutal. They just it's just over. Yeah, there you go. It's like a, it's like a ticking time bomb essentially for for that march is lower and lower and lower. It's it's gonna get smat like it's gonna eventually lose to this uh this inscription. Um we could look There's at this. No love Ploto. <laughs> BP is keeping me in a cage. Damn, BP got goose caged up. Um, we got blue savvy sentencing sweet accounts uh, war cry 3.5% attack. So overall like 7% infantry attack if we count that 9.3% infantry defense and 5% infantry health with 3.5% infantry march speed and 1.4% all damage all, all things considered it's just those like cav stats, but yeah. it's it's actually like a pretty good arm and set overall like it yeah. um, Chat the challenge here is this has got a du this has got a double mm. inscription and I'm out of transmutes, so I'm yeah. gonna need to get another. Um, I'm gonna have to reset that and then try again. Yeah. This one I still have enough transmutes to to go, but I'm kind of looking at like some of the other um, uh, the ones that I got that are are maybe more useful. Um, I just need a like this is just this is work in progress. Archers uh, or smite damage is still relatively new in the game. And so stuff like this just takes a while to mm -hmm. to really get it to the right point. Yeah, I'm guessing like the way that your inscriptions work, your arm is worked is like you opened a bunch for wedge. So that's why the wedge is really well built. And now right. that you're comfortable with where you are with wedge, you're starting to open up more arch and more uh, hollow square formation. So that, hollow that's, square. Yeah, that's that's exactly it. Yeah. 
All right, there you go. Please tell Fluffy hi, <laughs> and whenever he's ready, he can bring that account um, back to 1029. I guess the other set that's kind of interesting face. is uh, my um, leadership set. So let's just load it in. Oh, full crit. I was not expecting the full crit um, leadership set. I feel like the, I, I know the leadership set's not as new as, you know, I, I, but I still, feel, I still yeah. feel like it's like really new. So whenever I see a full crit leadership set, iconic levels up in here as well. Minimum icon iconic level is three, um, with iconic level four for the chest, weapon, and legs, and iconic level five for the boots. So crazy stuff here. And uh, like, what wh what is this leadership leadership set used for? Is it for a leadership garrison? Is it for? Um, in case someone yeah, so, dares to so, rally your city or <laughs> so definitely definitely useful as a leadership in a leadership garrison and they're just on the field as well you know like i you want trajan to be if you're if you're running a seventh march march with trajan you want it to be as tanky as possible you want him to last as long as possible mm -hmm. um and this this stuff is so useful because even if you're pulling trajan out with like um almost all infantry and then just 10,000 cav and 10,000 archer like you still just gain a ton of benefit from like super generalized stats like like troop attack so yeah. what's nice about leadership is that instead of me having a um infantry focused set on trajan and then running like almost all infantry yeah i can now play games you know i can now go oh actually i'm gonna pull trajan out with like calves um uh you know or like just a third a third a third because now i've got these super that really just play into it mm -hmm. i was also talking to um like i know you're not a big proponent to those range commanders and all kind of stuff but if you ever did want to use them you could still use the leadership set because you know it would work for for siege so you know eventually you know if you ever want to try it out one day if you feel bored and we're across a bridge and he, you know what i'm just gonna max Cordor cordoba for fun and just hit people with a leadership set it is pretty viable there as well as i look at lampos don't know yeah. please tell fluffy i said hi and whenever he's ready he could come back to 1029 uh, that's kind of funny uh, with the history of uh of what's going on here but um we could go ahead and, and take a look at uh, the rest of the set how many sets overall do you have like sure. we don't we don't have to look at into detail yeah so of every set but um so i mean so in terms of like just full legendaries um i have seven really solid sets mm -hmm. i have um a, an extra leadership uh, sorry infantry set which is not very well built out but it's great for barb hunting and that sort of thing mm -hmm. uh, i got a nice uh, a nice Ted and Richard also for Bob hunting. Wow. <laughs> um, and then this is just, this is the backup, uh, the backup um, leadership set. You know, I mean, like that where I really want to get this to a point where it's, um, where it's good for uh, a leadership garrison. But mm -hmm. right now, um, if I had to do a leadership garrison, swapping over to this makes more sense. Yeah. Um, but you can see, like, just to give you an example, you know, we've seen the, the Cav one. It's so beautiful. There's so many L5, uh, level five things. Cav 2 is definitely a lot less built out. You know, yes, there's some iconics, everything's crit, but it's still like um a work in progress. missing iconics. There's mm -hmm. not a lot. Of, yeah, exactly. Same goes for for the second archery set, same goes for the um second infantry set stuff there, but there's like still a lot of work. Yeah. I kind of like the the way that you approached it where you're you're kind of focusing I, I could tell you're hyper focusing on the on the three main sets or the four main sets where you have like, you know, for leadership you're gonna put all everything into that leadership and, and make sure that's done, especially for an account like yours, which is pro you know, most probably gonna be used for garrison rally, all that kind of stuff. That's where um equipment matters the most, the stats matter the most. In the open field, like it does matter. You'll pack more of a punch with with those uh, you know, if, if you had your second or third your second uh, cavalry set your second archer set but <clears throat> the most impactful is for those initial sets so if you're um yeah. in infantry rally or garrison if you're a uh, archer rally or garrison or if you're cav rally or garrison um those that like the, the trades there matter the most because you know if you trade better the the less deads and the better trades and we might be able to take an objective just based off of the iconic level five that you put on your greatest glory for example right so um all of those micro 
changes and micro optimizations matter a lot more for those 1v1 garrison yeah. rally scenarios so <clears throat> yeah and and you can see i mean like the it's a similar deal with uh with the uh armaments you know mm -hmm. that main set is really well built out the second set not so much yeah um main cab really well built out second set is getting there um yeah. and so it's really just about like you know i'm i'm persistent and i'm happy to like keep hammering away at stuff and now that we are getting more transmutes um this will become progressively better yeah it's uh i think like if there's any learnings from watching an account review with uh with this is uh you know hyper focusing is not bad like you, you want to make sure that uh you take a project and you work on that said project instead of like oh i'm gonna sprinkle it here i'm gonna sprinkle it there like you're you're kind of like working on these sets of gear you have a usable set for your other marches and you know like that that's probably does you well for those trades but you're you know i'm gonna focus on this stuff so that you know i could like for for these specific marches for these specific uh, scenarios i have something for that and you know i best and slot for that so i'm 100 percent yeah so someone said show his gathering set please <laughs> I, okay so so let me i gotta i have to tell you the story of the gathering set the story of the gathering set was that i um i, I accidentally won alliance mobilization i did the 240 pointer yeah for, um, i don't think forging. they have that quest anymore and, i haven't uh, seen the forging quest at all but yeah uh, yeah mm -hmm. I, I haven't either and then i freaked out and i was like i i don't have equipment that i can forge for this <laughs> gathering set um oh my goodness which, <laughs> which i will yeah i it's a, little, it's a little embarrassing that i i have that but i'm you know i mean like fantastic like i mean yes you, pro uh, you probably you probably set. had the extra bones right you probably had extra bones i did it's so it's, uh, it's not that big of a so. deal. You, you you probably had the gold too, so it's 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 <laughs> no love yeah. lost here. Um, I love how you have I the mean, gatherers. Yeah, <laughs> crit crit crit! I mean, there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh man, only seventy five percent. What a tease! But uh, I love how you have it on Margaret too. It's not even a gathering commander. You have it on. <laughs> It's like, all right, whatever. I'm just gonna put on the siege uh, commander, call it a day. Yeah, um, but there you go. Um, that is the gathering sets. Uh, I was not expecting there to actually be a gathering set, but good context behind. Um, I mean, look, alliance, alliance focused right here. You you sacrificed, um, just so that you can uh, get your scores by accidentally taking a quest for alliance mobilization. So, um, there you go uh is there anything else you want to and particularly you want to sh show with the uh, gear or yeah um on on commanders i think one thing that i'm i'm really appreciative of is having maxed them all um, oh my goodness <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. I think you know have, having maxed lubu is probably like my my favorite um commander oh, just because no. he looks so cool i'm you... i'm so sad that i literally can't use him you know it's so funny i had peacemaker on last week his account's too new where he's been messaging VIP support, begging them uh, to unlock Lu Bu because, you know, I, I can imagine as a will, like, even you, you, you're buying museum bundles so that you can max everything in the museum. Like, imagine if, like, you had a commander that's permanently locked for you because uh, it was a... Oh, I was dropping that. <laughs> so, yeah, like, uh, that's been what's going on yeah. there as well. Um... So the brand, the brand new commanders. Um, I'm just gonna keep spinning the wheel and whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not really focused on on them right now. Yeah, that might change in future, but at this point, like they're just, they're just there, and uh, I'll let them spin up naturally. Um, and then this one, th this little guy over here, Pericles, um, is not on level sixty because sometimes uh, you on the daily you need to use. Um, oh some of your uh, books yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and oh. so that's why exactly so that's why that exists that that's why that exists here so i can always go um one two three four five wow <laughs> oh wow that's uh that's kind of funny it's like oh this is one commander why 
Oh, it's so that I could do the quests. So makes sense. All exactly. right. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Is there uh I guess we have a little bit of time for for questions um in the chat. I'll try to pick out some good ones. Um we have like around 5 minutes for questions. Just wait, hit level 40 and everyone will hurry. I'll hit 40. Um who wants to buy an account with a Lubu only 2.5 million account with <laughs> and a four star kingdoms. Oh my goodness. Um oh city skins. We didn't go over city skins. Let's go over the, oh, the yeah, city yeah, skins. Yeah. Oh, good, good point. That's, that's Semtop great. Semtopia. Um, let's take a look at the city skins. We got the Sage yeah. Saga of the Longship, which is a new um, Zenith skin that just happened. Um, but yeah, let's, let's scroll down here with uh, these skins. Uh, sure. So, um, you know, obviously, like all of the very boring ones, they're not very... The epics are, are fine. I mean, like they're useful. Yeah um in in certain for certain things uh and then you know twilight falls babylonian gardens those are the sort of important ones uh persian, persian dream, dream uh age of devotion that used to be a really good infantry skin until they they got the 15 percent <laughs> variant but uh no. <laughs> divine abode there you go for the um uh saint's halo um you know also super useful if you want that five percent skill damage but you don't you, you're happy to take the knock on infantry mm -hmm. um uh, flight of the, the heron. heron yep that's a uh, top yeah. 20 honor in kvk3 um amber fortress 10 percent archer health so a lot of the older skins on um you got yeah. um cav health um tokapi palace oh this is the the coin one the you buy it with yeah. six coins so for the action point recovery speed and the, the archer defense so yes yes mistakes were made <laughs> it's probably back in the day when there wasn't any uh there wasn't any iconic and you just have a bunch of extra coins just lying around so yeah, yeah. exactly so it was it was kind of like well what do you do with them <laughs> we got cav attack a bro to the crown i haven't even heard of that one um um yeah i mean it's the like, you know again like it's a it's a it's a 10 percent skin so it's not exactly it's probably an older skin out. yeah okay, now that we have yeah now that we have 15 percent skins it just doesn't really feature anymore frozen, uh, frozen fortress. fortress same thing like, yeah. this was like my account's first zenith uh was fortune fortress nice um well like i didn't get win the zenith i'm just like my account existed when <laughs> for frozen fortress existed <laughs> Island Fortress, we got uh, uh, another skill damage skin. Um, yeah. Atlantis, we got like Atlantis as well. Yeah. Dynastic um, Conqueror. Dynastic oh, this Conqueror is this is, is an open is, field skin. Is it? it what, what skin yeah. do you use? Yeah. I, I guess use, is a good I question. Use it all the time. Ah, Dynastic. Conqueror. So I use Dynastic Conqueror a lot because I the way I view it is I'm gaining eight percent troop defense for um, uh, everything except for cavalry, where I'm losing two percent and. You know i'm willing to take that that hit because my calves are so strong anyway yeah um, i mean people say that that's the best open field skin in the game right now so makes perfect yeah. sense there um call to eternity 50, we're looking at the 15 percent attack skins now um we could continue yeah. scrolling through these are do you 50 percent infantry attack like for zeniths are you the type of person to just always win a zenith skin like you collect them like pokemon cards or um I, I do try and place top 20 um i mean you know like just like sometimes you don't know when a skin will be useful you know mm -hmm. like the meta changes and evolves and i think you want to be able to to play into that meta if you can afford it um so yeah it's really just about making so sure that like i have the things so that when i need to i can i mean they're in a heavy kvk i'm just like running dido garrisons that's like i don't really care about open field i'm happy to like yeah burn um healing speed ups in open field i can switch to star palace that 15 percent archer defense of losing some troops on the field no yeah. problem all right there you go um emerald shade hall still a fantastic such a great skin really really good 15 percent cav defense for sure and then we got the infantry defense here as well, Crown and Glory, Archer attack 15%.
I feel like I've seen like two archer attack 15% skins. I, I might be tripping though. Um, Battle Bloom. Oh, Calorie Health. Um, yeah, great skin as well. And then Reign of Reign of Rhyme, which was like a really coveted skin with the 15% infantry health. Uh, so yeah, you have like yeah. all of the all of the I guess prevalent zeniths. Um, so as you said, any scenario, I need this, I need that, I need this, that, I need that stat. Um, you got it ready to go. Yeah. Um, the the things that I I'm I'm sort of like sad about missing out on our training speed skins but they normally like where i've missed out on them it's been because they've come as part of like um uh, ol or yeah. something like that yeah. and so you know you that's that's not something that you can really force or control for sure i mean hopefully hopefully i mean this our, our realm this year is crazy with uh we got 960 and 2489 and you know 2429s in there as well so it's going to be pretty crazy but uh yeah. we'll try our best um but yeah th that's it for this yeah because i i'd love a i'd love a three percent uh training skin like that would make my my uh all right they, well i nikki Ruz, make it happen <laughs> make it happen um let's go see how did you start to play with smash squad was a question like how did you get into into the smash squad group yeah great great question so i was in 60 gt and i wanted to leave 60 i got bounced to 60 mx because it was a secondary account i was not putting in as much effort as i prob probably should have um and when smash squad migrated to 2605 i saw that as an opportunity to get out of 60 and like go play um in uh, a go to a KVK that was maybe a little bit more relaxed where it wasn't quite as intense. Mm -hmm. um, and I really just like, I found my people, I had a lot of fun. Um, and so I moved my main over um, and uh, and the rest is history. Um, I mean, that was, you know, whatever, not that long ago, like I guess six months ago when I moved my main <laughs> over. Um, but you know, I like, I had to I had to go in with the secondary first because you never, you don't know what you're gonna get, you know, yeah. it's like, they weren't people that I, I was friends with at the time. And so I was going in blind um, and I was, you know, I, like, I must say I had, it's kind of funny. I had people like reaching out to me and being like, oh, why are you going to match squad? They're the worst. Like they, you know, kick puppies and hate children or whatever. And I was like, that's what it feels like. You know, how about <laughs> I just, <laughs> that's how like, they hate, uh, they hate them how so about much. I, how about I go... <laughs> Damn. I was like, how about I go make my own mind up? And I, you know, like, of course, like there are, there are always going to be people in every kingdom who you maybe don't get on that. Mm -hmm. But people tend to leave. And the people that stick around are the ones that you become close to and you become friends with. And you just enjoy the common goal of having fun. There you go. Um, I'm going to bring up Lambo's question. Um, this, did you get the CC sunglass emoji yet? Because it used to piss off uh mf that he didn't have this the cc uh <laughs> sunglasses emote so if you if you see charles mortel uh, in your city over there i mean not charles mortel uh um double yeah. c in your city be sure to give him some golden yeah. apples so that you got that uh golden you got that emotes uh okay. send a picture to lambo just for, for your all time's sake i <laughs> uh, definitely will um what's your favorite kvk moment I, this could be the last question as we're, we're running out of time here what, what's your what's your favorite kvk moment I, I think my favorite KVK moments um, have been when uh, with the random teleport stuff. Like you're teleport, you're doing a, hitting like a bunch of random teleports, and maybe you've like gone through twenty of them, thirty of them, and suddenly you just land next to like where the where they're building their fortress or whatever, and you just it's like <laughs> you you go wild. Like it is like the heavens have opened. Charge! You can literally tilt. You can tilt the entire balance of a KVK in that moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't, but like, I'm sure <laughs> your account, <laughs> there's like a, an 80 million power player, that's food for them, but I'm, I'm guessing a 500 million power player is a bit of a different story. Um, but yeah, that's all we have time for. Um, Fluffy Pony, appreciate you for coming through. I'm looking forward to playing KVKs with you, getting to know you more. This is actually our first time interacting, so 
um looking forward to playing kvks with you and yeah hopefully get that osiris league skin and all, all that kind of stuff we'll definitely keep in touch and uh thanks for coming through man do you have any final words awesome. for the stream thanks or, for having me or anything or <laughs> no i just um looking looking forward to to crushing it in the next uh the next few kvks all right there you go man i'll catch you later i know you're busy so appreciate your time and i'll catch you later man awesome all right peace thanks so much bye yep. Alrighty, man, <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. Appreciate Fluffy Pony again for coming through onto the stream. Um, like I never had to contact a assistant to get someone on stream, but uh, that's Fluffy Pony for you. Um, I could go ahead and check the chat real quick. Um, yeah, he's he's really chill. He's really chill. Um, super happy to have him in the KD um and he seemed really knowledgeable about the game too and that that's the thing that impressed me about that uh account review slash interview i had with fluffy pony was um there's a lot of intent with uh the way that he invests his gear the way that he invests his armaments and the way that he approaches the game it was really impressive to me so um yeah the sa saga of the longship uh i think we looked at that when we were on fluffy pony's account and yeah, we're we're on my account, so it's not as uh, <laughs> it's not as cool, but uh, yeah, it does look sick. They should recruit him in peace to Baboon Squad. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> there you go. Um, but yeah, that that's pretty much it. I just wanted to have a quick stream. I got Fluffy Pony on. Um, his account reviews was sick. Um, shout out to everyone for coming through. Shout out to. Everyone for liking the stream and, and uh, the donos from Goose Toby, where you Daddy Chatsky with the five gifted, and as well as Lambo. Um, I guess I could talk. I could. I guess I could plug the channel. We have. Um, we have uh, the Plato Pod on Saturday. The guests that I have coming through are Shappy and Gaines from Ten Seventy Nine. Um, good homies. They're also YouTubers as well. So be sure to be there for that. Um, I might be streaming on Friday. I don't know. It's, it's been pretty busy, not going to lie, in real life, which is why I haven't been doing as much content. But uh, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll hang out with the 22 Six Day homies in, on Friday. I, I have to kind of uh, bring them up. We need a Chatsky account review. Yo, Chatsky, if you're still here. Next week. <laughs> we, could do, we could do a Chatsky account review if he's down for sure. Um, that would be pretty fun um bet all right there you go why day chasky next week <laughs> um these account review series uh, have been pretty fun um be sure to subscribe to the channel like the stream um for more and yeah i'll, I'll be editing this down and we'll, we'll have a video out in a couple days instead of that i don't really have much else to say um but i got a lot of stuff to do so i will catch you guys next time appreciate you guys and uh yeah see you later peace